beautiful people my name is Bridget and welcome back to my channel hope you're having an awesome day and today's video is going to be an unboxing of the boxy charm for January 2020 which is still quite weird to say but today we're unboxing the first box of the year from boxy charm this is the regular subscription box which retails for $25 it's at least $125 worth of value in there and also since I'm already doing an unboxing video I got this in the mail from L Negs. he has a YouTube channel here and like, I don't usually get out my, like, PR address, but he was super, he's always super sweet and supportive, so he sent me a box of things, and I'm gonna unbox this to do, um, like, the What's in Your Box Challenge too, and do the Boxy Charm as well, so we have, like, a nice makeup-y unboxing video, so without any further ado, let's kinda jump into today's video. Alright guys, as always, my channel is a cruelty-free channel if you are not familiar with it, and I'd love to get subscribed down below, that'd be awesome. So, firstly, the Boxy Charm. Again, $25 a month. They have a premium too, which you can upgrade to for $35 a month. Then every three months, you can upgrade to the Boxy Lux for $50 a month if you want to. This is the standard everyday box. It used to be $21, it's $25 now. But yeah, let's go ahead and get started. I feel like this is going to be a pretty simple video. I love an unboxing. So this is this month's theme, which is all icy. It is called Breaking the Ice, which is very fitting for January, even if I do live in Florida and it's it's not freezing cold outside all the time. This also gives you the retail prices. Everything also tell you the retail prices um, for the $25 box. So let's jump into it. The first thing I see is this big box from Too Faced. Oh, I've had this before. I don't know if it's the exact same shade. So this is the Too Faced Diamond Light Diamond Fire Highlighter. I don't know which. This is the shade Fancy Pink Diamond. This retails for $36. I've had this before. It wasn't my favorite highlighter in the world, but it was like a cute moment for a second. But I did feel like it got hard pan relatively quickly. But let me just open this up and show you. So the highlighter packaging in this box, super cute. And then here is the highlighter itself. It comes this cute little like diamondy shape. Ooh. Ooh. This one opens up beautifully, like a little jewelry box with the highlighter. I guess it makes sense for diamond highlighter, but this is what it looks like. It's just a mix of a peachy color and a pinky color mixed in together. I'm not going to swatch it because I personally probably wouldn't use this color too much, but this is what comes in here. And I think there's two options as far as colors for these highlighters. And it says it's your time to shine outside the box. So that's really cute for $36, the first thing from Too Faced. Actually a pretty decent highlighter, but not like the most blinding thing in the world. Next up in here, well since this hit my finger, let's do this. Okay, so this is from Grande Cosmetics. This is a Grande Drama Intense Thickening Mascara with Castor Oil. Um, I, I know we've had one of these Grande Mascaras before. It wasn't this specific one. This retails for $25. I wasn't the biggest, biggest fan in the world. I feel like it dried out pretty relatively quickly. Also, my nails are not done in this video. I apologize. But, I mean, for $25 for this mascara, it's very thick. It's a little thicker tube than the last one we had. Um, I'm not like crazy crazy about it, but I, honestly having a good mascara as like a backup if you need it is always a good thing to have on hand. Next up in here is, let's do the big thing. Ew, what is on this? So this is sealed, right? But there's like, you see that? It's like, I know it's hard against the white and all the white bright everything, but it's like stuff on it. It's like yellow with red dots and it stuffs. Hopefully it's from the inside of this, but it is sealed, so I don't know how anything would get out. But this is a Skin & Co. Roma Truffle Therapy Polishing Micro Exfoliating Truffle Face Cream. It's a big bottle for sure, but this is what the packaging looks like other than that one spot of stuff on top. It's not on the back, so it's just on the front. So it has a black truffle extract, apricot seed powder, sweet almond extract, squalene, and alatoin alatoin so this retails for $28 I do not know if this product is cruelty free or not I have no idea I've never heard of this brand but you do get a lot of product in here and it's actually got some weight to it Orion that's a candle there's a baby okay next up in here oh I've had this before did I get this in a boxy charm before I either got this in the boxy charm or the ipsy glam bag plus but I've had this exact product before. I have one of these already. So this is an Advanced Shea Butter Rice brand 8 hour radiance renewal sleeping mask. So I have one of these already. This retails for $107. Ew. That price tag is like, ugh, ugh, ugh. Um, 
but yeah this is it i have one of these already so i'm not gonna open this but 107 dollars. i don't remember this retailing for that much but it is a sleeping mask which is really good for skincare i guess um and anything age radiance is awesome it says cruelty free but that's at a ridiculous price tag so i'd much rather get it in my 25 dollar boxy charm box next up in here and lastly in here I always have to check because like once in a while it'll be like an eyeliner and it gets stuck under the foam and I'll forget and I'll not have it anymore. But this is the Dr. Brands, which is not cruelty free unfortunately, 24-7 eye retinol cream with ruby crystal complex. So this is what this looks like. It just stands like fancy skincare. It's just an eye cream tube. This is how much product you get. It's a little tube but it's like kind of cute. Um, I kind of like the gold, the chrome, bronze, 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 copper, colored cap. I don't know why I couldn't think of that word. This retails for $55. Obviously, Dr. Brandt is more of like a luxury skincare brand. Um, but personally, without being cruelty free, and I've heard like okay things with the products. I'm not like super enthused about this one, but not bad. Alright guys, so now let's go over everything that we got in this month's BoxyCharm box. Okay, the cases. But first we got the Dr. Brandt's eye cream. It's okay. We have the Grande Mascara, which is a good backup to have, but I'm not like in love with this. The Too Faced Highlighter, Diamond Light Highlighter, is probably the best thing in this month's box. I feel like if you need a good highlighter, maybe you're trying colors you haven't tried before, this is a really good option for you, but it's not like the most blinding highlighter in the world, but the packaging is stunning. Just a little bulky. We have this Advent Sleeping Mask, which I feel like is good skincare to have on hand, but I do think the retail price of this is crazy. And then lastly, we have this face cream. It's a lot of skincare this month. We have three out of the five things being skincare. Maybe that's why it's not my favorite favorite month in the world because I do like more makeup-y products. I like having one or two skincare things just because I don't feel like I don't need like a huge huge stash of skincare products because it takes longer to go through. But we do have some good skincare in this month's box. Only two makeup items. So that is it for the BoxyCharm this month. I do have a referral link. If you want to sign up for BoxyCharm you can use it down below. But no pressure and now let's move on to the box I got from Ellen Eggs. Alrighty, so I read the card in here, which is why I know this is like the what's in your box challenge, but I haven't looked. So like I've seen like the one thing that's not wrapped, but I don't know what's in here. And I think it's fun. It's like a mystery box, but from someone who knows you a little better. So that's pretty cool. So let's dive on in with the first thing I've seen, which is this really cute booklet of Ardell Wispy Lashes. So if you need a natural lash, there's all kinds in here. So this is the first thing. I think it's really cute. I'm actually excited about these double demi wispies because they look really full and really pretty and I actually don't have a huge stash of natural looking lashes so it's probably good for me to have like a little booklet of them here but this is the first thing in here also I'm just gonna give you like a, a huge thank you um for this box because I didn't expect like this at all I didn't know what was coming in the mail so I appreciate it greatly and thank you so much I also thank you for just being super sweet you're always just super supportive and everything and I really appreciate that because other people who do makeup and stuff being super supportive not always not always seen around here. All right, next up we have some green paper. So this is, oh, it's a black cat. It's a black cat. It jingles. So this is a perfect ballpoint pen. It's a black cat, like my beautiful Azriel. She's my world. But yeah, it's a little cute pen. It's so cute. That's really cute. That's so thoughtful. Because, you know, she's my baby. Alright, next up in here is bundled up really good, so I don't know. Am I the only person who doesn't like ripping tissue paper? I feel like, I don't know. I like ripping it. Oh, cute! Cute! Okay, so these are some Bite Liquid Lipsticks. I love a liquid lip. Your girl loves a matte because she doesn't want to get hair in her lipstick and everything. So these are two Bite liquid lipsticks. They're so cute. Does anyone know what's going on with Bite? Because someone said they're like redoing everything and they're not in Sephora's right now. So these are the shades Infuse and Demi Glace. Is it called Glace if it's spelled with a C? I think so. So let's see the colors. Ooh, it's a pretty berry color. I'm going to swatch these because they look super cute. I've never tried their liquid lipstick formula before. Ooh, it's thick. So this is the first color. This one is Infuse. Very pretty color. 
And this is the other shade, Demi Glace, which honestly, very vampy, very berry, very beautiful. This one's more cool, and it's really cool. I wonder if these are going to dry down or not, because they're liquid lipstick, but they're very, very shiny. So I'm going to leave them on my hands, but we'll see. Um, next up... Uh, uh, oh my god. Okay, so... I know what this is, and I've wanted it since they announced it, because last year, one of my favorite palettes of the year was that Gingerbread Spice palette by Too Faced, and I love it. So, now I have the Too Faced Extra Spicy palette. It's so sweet. Oh my gosh. I was looking at this the other day because it was on sale, and I was like, I need it, but I was, I was like, also like, I need to quit buying so many palettes, um, but now I don't have to buy it. That's awesome. So, this, oh, here's the packaging. So pretty. This is the inside of the Gingerbread Spice palette. Literally, like, I love that Gingerbread Spice palette. This is the extra spicy one. Like, I'm super excited to try it out. This is actually the blue one, which I feel like makes the whole palette a little bit different. There's also, like, a little yellow. And I love, like, a mauve or pink shade. Like, on camera, this looks very pink. It looks a lot more cooler in person. And the golds in here and everything, like, and I love an orange eyeshadow. This just looks so good. And it, it smells good, but it doesn't smell as strong as the last one, which is good. So, thank you. Thank you, really, thank you so much. Alrighty, next up is some makeup wipes. I've actually never tried these before. So these are the Nivea Refreshing Cleansing Wipes for eyes, lips, and face with 25 in here. I actually don't have that many makeup wipes like stocked up, so I'm glad to have these. Thank you very much. Nextly, ooh, I see the packaging. I don't know what it is, but like, I know this print. So this is from First Aid Beauty is the Ultra Repair Cream. The original one and like the squeezy tube. I have like the big jar and the melon scent I believe and we go through a lot because I get a lot of tattoos and it's great for healing tattoos. So this is the original with no scent. Actually probably better for tattoos but yes I'm very excited about this one. Very cute and it's actually a decent size like this is travel friendly for sure. Okay so there's two things in here. I have no idea what this one is. It's one of those really wrapped up ones. Okay so this is from Ardell. This is a Wispies fiber building mascara. I didn't know they had mascara. Does Ardell have more than just lashes and lash glue? This is pretty cool. So let's see the mascara. I'm not going to open it um, because I don't want to like dry it out really fast. But here is the Wispy Mascara. That's super cute. It's actually like a romantic packaging too. The red and black with little hearts on it and stuff. It's actually really cute. I didn't know they have mascara. I need to like look at Ardell and see if they have like other makeup-y things now. Because I didn't know at all. Okay, so the last thing in here... Ooh, I mean, I know what brand it is. I feel like I've got a good sense for things these days where I can, like, see little gray stripes and, like, I know you. And I can see, like, a certain color of a palette and I'm like, I know what that is. <laughs> so good. So, if I can get this open. Oh, cute. I've never actually tried this one. So, I love the Glow Tonic and the Rose Tonic and like just pixie skincare stuff in general because I just I really love it and I've actually never tried the retinol tonic before it's pastel it's purple just like me so this is the retinol tonic by pixie I'm excited to try this one because oh this one has jasmine flower in there I've never tried this one before like I want to try the milk tonic too I'm gonna try this one and then I'm gonna try the milk tonic because I want I feel if you saw my last 70s video I had like the giant jar with my name on it for pixie and I went through the entire glow tonic so I definitely needed one, another one of these. Thank you so much. So that is everything in the box. Let's go over everything. And also I will leave his video, the what's in your box challenge, linked down below. So if you guys want to do this with other people you know, that'd be awesome. So I have the retinol tonic here. I also have an ultra repair cream, which I'm definitely going to use the entire thing. A cute little ballpoint pen that looks like my girl, Azriella, because she's my world. Some makeup wipes a mascara the beautiful extra spicy palette by Too Faced which I am dying to use like I kind of want to wipe this off and put it on because like I've been I've been dying for this palette for so long but I could never justify like I don't need to buy more palettes for the time but oh my gosh am I so excited to play with this like I'm gonna do a makeup again tonight and play with it and we also got two bite liquid lipsticks which don't dry down they still have like a glaze to them but i might try them out i'm trying to like this year not be opposed to things that i wouldn't normally use i want to like try things like the other day i was wearing a flower beauty liquid lipstick my video when you guys were like she's wearing a gloss are you okay send help and i was like i just want to try new liquid lipstick from me it didn't dry down i didn't think it looked bad i kept wearing it but i do 
want to try more things this year so i might try to wear these even though they're glossy because i do like the colors and i think the colors are really cool and also this was stuck under paper but we did get a little book of our dell wispy lashes which is really awesome it's like a really cute set i like the variations in here anyways thank you guys so much for watching today's video again i will leave his video as well as my boxy charm affiliate link down below if you guys want to check either one of those out thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video bye